All right. Uh, I want to update the arena. So we're gonna throw that in there. Build that. Brick by brick. Now we can have two people leveling up at once. Uh, these guys are fully healed, which is very nice. Um, let's put Arrowwolf in here. Who needs? Who else needed healing? I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to beat one more fight with this crew before they need to rest. Uh, all right. So, what do we want to do with Sar's main attack here? The damage goes up, or crits deal more damage? What do you think is better, gang? Damage going up to from 14 to 16 to 18 to 20, or the attack staying the same? But a crit dealing 225% damage instead of just 100%. Hmm. Another factor is going this way with the crit damage will give us one armor, which makes it harder for us to take damage. If I go this way, it gives him plus two initiative so he goes quicker in battle. Yeah. And his crit chance is 4%. So it's pretty low. So I think let's do the... Let's go this way. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. Crit, crit's kind of low. So we'll do that. Um, and then we'll increase his attack. Yeah. And I'm going to give him... I'm going to see if I can take advantage... Ah. I'm going to actually give the Jester's Visage to Sar. So significantly increase the chance this, this is character is attacked by an enemy. And we'll see if we can use that to heal the group with Transfusion, maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's a mistake. I wish I... You can't undo that once you do it. That sucks. But I think that's okay. We'll try it. Uh, Mono Knight levels up. Bombardment. At the start of his next turn, the zombie attacks four times. We can make that deal more damage or make it magic damage. Do we want it to be physical or magic? I don't think it matters much. This will give us crit. This will give us accuracy. Let's go with the crit. I expect results. All right. Um, increase the attack. Increase the crit. Modernite. Radistol only has one point. Okay, we have people there. We have one person healing there. Everything else is occupied. Okay. You're not gonna die. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe you're gonna die, but you're not gonna die. It's fine. Why is Mono Knight still look like it needs to level up? Okay, there we go. He's so cavalier with our lives. It's true. Ow. Ow. All right, who do we get to go first? Let's do this stance where we heal everybody when he gets attacked. Actually, I'm going to let's do some damage early on. Early on, let's do some damage. I've got the explody guy. I gotta remember that. The explody guy has to die. Have a warm end, my friend. There we go. 30 damage. All 
right. He's almost dead, which is nice. If you guys are getting this game today or starting your playthrough of this game, I'll give you a little hint. Respect. Respect this guy right here. That guy that just went, the demolition expert. If you leave this guy unchecked, if this guy uh, remains unchecked, he can literally like do a suicide bomber move that like insta kills some of your peoples. Yeah. So, watch out for that. So this move, this cannon move is one person. Um, don't accidentally hit the sacrifice button. Yeah, that's my other hint. It's a good hint too. Become part of the breathless tide. I like that. That's a cool name for a, a band of undead. The breathless tide. It's pretty cool. The hate elemental. All right, now we're gonna do this transfusion stance. Ow! Give them no mercy. you missed with your stupid hammer uh he just took out a gun and shot him i never quite i never quite saw a zombie depicted quite in this manner before you know usually you think zombies as mindless like cannon fodder that sh amble clumsily towards your enemies. No, this one's sophisticated. He's got a cannon that he can pack gunpowder into, and he also has got a sidearm pistol. Kind of a different zombie. Uh, maim. Sparkwood. Sparkwood. I want to see what this looks like. Ignition. Pretty cool. Burn out. Burn Another out. step towards my eternal kingdom. Battle Orin increases Oratus' spell power by 12. Got a new artifact. Oh, where was that? Well, that's not an artifact? What was that? Or was that just like a passive thingy, Madoodle? What was that treasure? Or is it a part for a? Oh, it's a part for a Zan or a part for a minion. Interesant, muy interesante. All right, we leveled up. We need one more, one more point to do the brain. We have a couple of level ups that we can do, but. I'm not going to spend time leveling them up. I'm going to throw them in there to heal. Take this one out. Take this one out. Uh, put them in there. Is this the elite? Is that what we're doing next? The elite monster? Yeah, okay. So we have an elite squad coming up. So... Make sure we do some putting in our extra stats and do the best we can. Um, and we're going to see if this is worth it. If doing this extra hard fight, is it worth it? I don't know. I'm going to assume that stress can crit. Does anybody know? I think I asked this earlier. I don't know if anybody answered. Just can can when you're dealing stress damage, does it cr does it have a chance to crit? Crit stress? Like, do you need luck with a stress build? I don't know. 
I don't know. We definitely want this character going first. But I don't think we can increase the initiative from here. Attack, Dread, Vigor, Armor, Resistance, Accuracy, Luck, Evasion, Block, Ward. Okay. Block and Ward take seven. In your job, stress seems critical at times. Stress crits you all the time, Quo. <laughs> I'm not I'm not laughing at that. I'm just these guys are making funnies. Um, see, this guy can increase his initiative. How funny is that? That banshees uh, can't and wraiths can. Isn't that weird? And look, wraiths can do like other abilities that the huh interesting interesting I think I'm gonna save those points too yeah I don't think I'm upgrading any of that I can build a number uh, a level one Might as well start upgrading one of these, too. 20 Wrath at the beginning of the battle? Let's do that. 20 Wrath at the beginning of each battle. That seems like a good thing to get. Yes, stress can hit. Crit. All right, thanks, Fomnix. That helps. Every war needs its generals. General. The whispers within this structure could drive a mortal mad within moments. Ver Even my undead heart begins to stir. In Very its good presence. change for those who didn't see it earlier. See how I had to use a uh, Dark Lord in order to build the Abode of Wrath? Well, now instead of that minion just going away and then you needing another minion to actually sit in it, it counts as the first slot, which is really, really a big convenience. You don't have to create as many minions just to kill anymore. Which is nice. Alright, let's try this elite battle. With a stress group. Fingers crossed. Our first test. By the way, based on our, um, our current speed, I'm not sure we're going to get to level 3 or 4 of the dungeon. But I'm already enjoying all the changes that they put in. This game gives you a lot of content. Especially with the, the final two uh, levels being uh, activated now. All right. Um, we've got an elite guard, an elite conscript, elite conscript, and an elite taskmaster. We're gonna put him into his stance. We're gonna put her into her stance. And then we're gonna make these guys jostle all around. That's what it's all about. Jostling. Oh, you moved. Shouldn't move with the Banshee back there. Alright. Okay, he's got no sanity left. Why is the Banshee crying? It's kind of their thing. Yeah, she's crying because uh, the stance that you put her in is called no. And what that stance does is if any of the characters on this side move their positions, she screams at them and does stress damage. So 
And it com combos really well with Ape at Noise, who's going to do a Terror Wave, which makes them all swap positions. So here we go. And then they're all going to get screamed at. Easy. There we go. And again, with a stress team like we have here, we're not looking to deal any damage to their health bars. We're looking to get rid of their purple sanity bar, stress them out, and cause them uh, heart attacks. And that's like an insta-death mechanic. We're making them insane. So in addition... In addition to... Uh, eventually being able to kill them via heart attack. Look, they're also becoming insane, which gives them random debuffs. This guy's unlucky, so he can't crit. He's got bad accuracy. He can't evade attacks well. Uh, this guy's uh, slower, deals decreased damage, and receives increased damage. And this guy uh, has an increased chance to flee, and he deals stress to his allies. So in addition to just trying to deplete that bar and kill them outright, you're also trying to make them a lot worse just by giving them madness. Yeah. Hey, Dragoon, what's up? Insane in the membrane, indeed. So here's the stance. No. Okay. Right. Hello. We are Legion. Demon Demonius. And now they're cursed. Armor absorbed. This was an elite group. We haven't taken. We've only taken a extinction of life. Eleven and twelve damage. Is this game a sequel? It is not a sequel. It may remind you uh, of Darkest Dungeon. Try to get another vampire? You think I should? 38% chance to flee? I could. I, I don't know. Are vampires that good, Fomnix? I mean, we could blood curse this guy. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, he just died. The guy just died. You can use it for buildings. That's true. It's true. Ow. See, I don't want to take much damage, though. 20% uh, chance of... Oh, he is fleeing. There we go. So we just got to not kill him. Sad display for mortal kind. All right, what did we get here? Oh, we got a Humanarium token. Uh, these Humanarium tokens, it's kind of like a compendium where you can learn more about uh, your enemies so that you get updates to your compendium as you fight uh, monsters for the first time. Uh, we got souls, we got a vampire, we got leg cuffs. This mi The minion can't be moved. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So if you got a guy that absolutely you want in the front, in the back, or whatever position... Throw this on there and the minion will not move. That's pretty groovy. I like that. These are new. Some of these artifacts or these items for the enemies are new. And we also got this. Uh, Mimir, after a combat victory, all surviving minions additionally gain plus 50% of the experience from the current level. And we got a level 5 brain. So this seemed overall to be better loot than a regular fight. Yeah? It, it, it seemed worth it to do the elites, at least this time. I think we got better uh, stuff. Yeah. Okay. That's 
pretty good. I am... So this is a consumable, but it will give folks more experience. Let's check our map before we do anything. All right, so here we go. We have the ability to just heal ourselves, or we have the ability to gain artifacts. I think we're going to go for the artifacts, no? Or do we want to go left? Look how massive just the first level is. I'm thinking going left, though, so that we can get another elite squad. Let's go left. So we can restore the vigor of our enemy. All right, so we don't have to heal if we go here. Okay, we got that. And then we've got a battle against, it looks like golems of some sort. They cannot be stressed. So, we don't want our stress team for that. That would be terrible. That would be bad. Um, who do we want to gain levels? Lightning Awesome. And Stouffer. We'll go in there. We'll go gain some levels. I am a vampire. And we're going to need a physical team. Um, Sparkwood. Sar. Let's do Arrowwolf. Arrowwolf's level five. Okay. And I don't have enough resources to build any more buildings. Nobody else needs heals, really. So I think we're good. Okay. Do I know if the levels are all around the same size? I believe they are, yeah. Do I like the Dark Shadows franchise? I don't know if I know what Dark Shadows franchise is. So I don't think I have much of an opinion. All right, so Sparkwood gets to improve one of his abilities here. The destroy would be cool. <coughs> so deal an additional point of damage for every eight health missing. Oh, this can move them around. This will move him forward and the enemy forward. Or deals an additional one point of damage for every six vigor missing so it's gonna deal more damage do we want to be able to move them around I don't think so do more damage now prove yourself worthy of my investment and we can level up his attack let's do that okay um Level 5 brain. Increases the ratchet's spell power by 12. Alright, Arrowwolf. We'll increase some stats here. Accuracy. So you don't miss. Like Sparkwood. And Jojo. Uh... We're gonna save it. Let's make it so Jojo doesn't move. Because let's say that can only be used in the back, in the back, in the back, in the back. Let's do it. Okay. He moved up to level three. We can get more brain. Transformation. The will becomes free. This is the humanarium, which we just unlocked. Uh. I guess the elite conscript for, but you can see the enemies. You can see I've unlocked a lot of the enemies in the in level one of the dungeon. Not all of them yet. This is level two, level three, and then the two. This, this whole section we haven't seen any of these enemies in level four or five. 
So there's a lot of content. Tons. And then you also have like your own minions that you can create. There's still, I haven't been able to create any vampires, black widows, unfrozens, or ghouls yet. Hi, Nyrax, what's up? Nyrax, this game's for you, by the way. Is Arrowwolf's head abnormally big? Mm, I don't know. I don't have other... Oh, do I have another skin for this? No. All right. Let's try to beat up these golems with our physical team here. See how this goes. Unfrozen. Let it stay. Let it stay. Well, I think it's a nod to the game devs because their studio is called Unfrozen. So they've created a character or a, a, a minion called Unfrozen. All right. Here we go. Stone golems. So you see how they don't have a stress meter at all because they're constructs? If I sent my stress team against these golems, they would have a hell of a time. A hell of a time. So you gotta be careful. All right. They're also, I think, immune to um, fire. They might be immune to fire too. Okay, so impaling charge. <laughs> Vampire. Ratchet gains 30 wrath. That'd be interesting to do. I wonder how this interaction goes. Normally the vampire is supposed to move back, but since the bride can't be moved, let's see what happens. Hey, it didn't didn't stop him from moving. Alright, well we know we know what happens there. All right, Sparkwood. There you go. Okay, he's buffing himself. HR buffing stuff. Miss, I like that. And he buffed himself too. 10 accuracy, 10 accuracy. Magic attack, target loses 30% of its current vigor. The vampire loses 20 vigor. Let's do it. 29 damage to him, 20 to himself. I'm gonna put this guy into the healing stance. Let's have her shoot. One by oh one, my God, life Jojo! Vanishes from this world. Jojo, I didn't know you had it in you. Jesus! Woo! The bride didn't move. The vampire was the one. True. I wanted to see how that interaction uh, worked. So now we know, and knowing's half the battle. Da da da. Okay. He missed. Missed, yes. What is the accuracy on these guys? Uh, oh, 50%, wow. <laughs> it's not so good, is it? So let's just do damage. Let's just do damage. Blood fest. Blood strike. Thirty-five. What? You left him with one health, Jojo. Spark was like, "That's fine. I'll kill him." One more for the stockpiles. 
<laughs> they just miss. We're winning all these coin flips here. I like the knife throwing vampire. Mop up the gore. I'd hate to see plants using it as fertilizer. Mutant Claw increases damage dealt to elite enemies by 20%. Which one of what? What is that? That's pretty amazing. I love all these new, uh, I don't even know what they call them. Artifacts or equipment for the minions themselves. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Check out our map, see what we're doing next. So this is cultists, mortal cultists who give Aratus with random gift Aratus with random consumables and mission specific items. Um, I don't know if you have to fight these. Probably not. Let's. Um... By the way, another change for those of you wondering: the levels for your minions um, don't have a limit anymore. Each time the minion levels up, they receive two stat points, and every three levels they get a skill point. The maximum level isn't limited. And the ultimate ability can start being upgraded after 15th level, I think. So they have, they just keep going. They just keep going and going. We got another talent point. All right, but I'm not sure what we're doing. Um, Let's go up to the next level with this group and let's just hope it's not a fight. See how this works. I've never seen this event before. Choose a gift. They look cool as hell. I hate that this one's smiling. Look at that. These two are like, and this one's like <laughs> uh, Crimson Chains Blood Phantasm only Each character attacking the Blood Phantasm Receives Ignition that deals 20 true damage See that would work really nice With what we already have On our Blood Phantasm Which me makes them attack him more often This is Vampire only Whenever an enemy escapes Or becomes insane The Vampire receives 6 actually 6 evasion and 6 luck Stack of bones for Sparkwood, the Bone Golem. For each 10 points of vigor missing, the damage the Bone Golem receives is decreased. Wedding gift for the Bride. Increases crit damage dealt by the Bride of Aratus by 50%. Katos, they heal while not in the main group or only in the building. You have to be in the building or they don't heal. But you can upgrade the building to have up to four people in there at once. Okay, so I was really, really thinking about getting this one. For, to combo with our Blood Phantasm. But I don't... I don't know. This is crazy, right? Did they heal a bit outside the main group, Fomnix? Really? Are you sure? All right. Well, go with Fomnix. He's, he always knows uh, a lot about these games. So, Fomnix says you heal a bit, but you heal to full if you're in the building. All right. Thank you. I have a fruit fly flying around my coffee. Don't you dare. Don't you dare go in my coffee. I'm going to put something over it. There. Ha. Can't get it now. You can't get my coffee. It's mine. It's mine, I tell you. All mine. Okay, what do you guys think? You think the combo is better? Harder to acquire both pieces? Depends, doesn't the bride deal lower damage? Then a 50% increase doesn't seem too much in terms of raw numbers. Then again, I never played this game before. The bride does tons of damage. All right, let's do the combo. Let's try it. I would I would imagine that combo of, of uh, trinkets does not come around too often. Let's try it. It's a fun combo, indeed. So it's the the uh, blood phantasm gets attacked significantly more often, and each character attacking the blood phantasm receives uh, ignition, which deals twenty true damage each turn for three turns, which is kind of like a just like a fire um, damage over time. 